I'm often asked the question of why is marketing important? And one of the reasons marketing should be the only course you ever take is that if you didn't have customers, you wouldn't be in business. If I'm a movie enthusiast, right? Okay, focus on me, the day in the life of the target market. I'm a movie enthusiast. How else can I satisfy that need? We go to the library. We go to the library and rent them out. How else? Alternative entertainment. Speak, tell me more. You don't have to watch a movie. You could just get up and go skating or bowling or do something. Okay. Which takes me to this question then, with whom do they compete? Ooh, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm? Drucker taught us that consumers don't buy products, they buy satisfactions to needs. And so the way I look at marketing is I see marketing is simply all about linking consumer problems with products as solutions. I really want students to think about the business from the customer's point of view. That's my number one goal, is to take any management problem and to be able to spin it round and look at it from the customer's point of view. What was the early signal that something was going wrong in Starbucks, the beginning of the case study? What, what was the signal that, that led them to believe that they needed to do something? Some of the stores were there. The Starbucks case is a really interesting case because it's very much about customer service. Why are we focusing on expansion where we should focus on our current customers, including our customer service? If they branch into a new market, let's say for instance they said we're going to start making more sugary specialty drinks to attract kids. That could decrease the value of the experience for the older group that they currently go there. So that's the risk I think you can take. So that's why I like the idea of focusing on the current school. One of the points of view that, that the students talk about, or we, that we end up with with the case study, is that Starbucks didn't always focus on the needs that consumers are trying to satisfy. And there's a time in Starbucks history where the brand gets a bit wobbly and they kind of lose sight of what they are and are they an instant coffee, are they competing against McDonald's? And so that provides a really nice way to bring things back to the brand, the consumer needs, how could Starbucks better satisfy the different customer needs. So it's actually a very drucker way of looking at, at, at marketing. It's very much looking at the business from the customer's point of view. It's reminding us that consumers don't buy products, they buy satisfactions to needs, and that's the way I teach marketing management. Drucker, one of the things that's really important to what, how we put our curriculum together is that you get functional training and you want to see the big picture and see how everything fits together. Hopefully you've turned your point of view around a little bit and you're thinking about the business from the customer's point of view and thinking about how um, higher level strategic decisions that you may make in other areas even will impact marketing and impact the business.